We are doing a demo of the Zigbee plug that has Alexa support. You see it's brand new. I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing. This isn't something I normally do. Safety tip, do not cut into your body. Always cut away from your body. Please, please, please eliminate trips to the emergency room. Anyway, so we're going to finesse this out and you've seen a basic shape here. Before the manufacturers have this on off plug, three prong. So I've got an extension cord called a squid. It's not your standard uh, multi strip where you've got the same number of plugs spaced apart. This squid actually ha it looks like little tentacles, and the tentacles then connect into your various devices at various lengths. I'm now hooking up a video light. And of course the Zigbee was live and hot when I did that. We're just going to set this down. Yes, this constitutes a fire hazard, but I don't have a lot of space, don't have a lot of time. Anyway, we're clicking the on off, on off. So manually you can see that the Zigbee works. We've got power. Ooh, wonderful cut. I'm running Alexa on my Android. We click the add a device. Now, if you have smaller fingers, this runs much better. Plug. Other. Discover devices. And so Alexa is going to take up to 45 seconds to discover or not discover the device. In this case, we're going to find that it's not going to discover it, but we're going to talk about why. One of these days I'm going to introduce some music like to make up for us having to wait or do some time-lapse photography, but I want you to be able to see that there's no trickery here. We actually are plugging this in. This is what you would go through if you were trying to make this happen. And lo and behold, it says no new device is found. So we're going to close it up. Here's where the problem was. This was the echo I was using as my Alexa. And nope, that's not it. You need the newer version. Looks like a bowling ball or a coconut. And I did not flip this to the bottom enough, but you would see the word Zigbee written in. This particular Echo has built-in Zigbee support. So we plug it in. We let it power up. Alexa, what time I know, is it? Limited space. You got to do what you got to do. So you can see we've got the new Echo in the corner. We've got the squid extension cord. We've got the video light. We've got the Zigbee. The Echo is powered up, so we're going to bring back the Android phone. Alexa, what time is it? And run Alexa and see how fast we can get this to work. By the way, I can tell you about the weather at a specific time do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Hope you're having so, a good weekend, John. Again, thinner fingers, this goes a lot easier. So I want to add a device, plug. Ah, these are from leftover videos. I'll try to remove them later much later. Add device. I'm going to try to scroll. Ah, plug. We're in the same spot as we were before, but I want you to see something now. Here's the big hint that this is going to work. Oh my gosh, we got an off on, off on. 
fairly certain this is going to work with the Zigbee plug. But we've got to wait the other 45 seconds in case there's some other plugs that I plugged in or other devices I plugged in. So let's insert the really happy do 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 music. And let this finish. Never thought 45 seconds would take so long. Oh my goodness. Found the plug, connected it. I have no other devices to set up, so I'm not going to choose a group. What we are going to do then is show you uh, now Alexa, how turn on first the Zigbee plug. plug will respond to voice commands, and I will Alexa, use turn Alexa off first plug. and first plug. Okay. Alexa, turn on first plug. Okay.